What's up Video Fort Nation? This is Video Fort Ruan with another awesome Video Fort tutorial. So welcome to the final video in the After Effects chapter. This is the mini project. So before we start, make sure that you download the project files. So we're looking at a file called footage and then also two muzzle flash files. And I want you to drag these into your project area. And then you're also going to drag your footage into a new composition to create a new composition. So if we quickly play through this, you'll see it's a guy uh, just standing on the side of the road, looking around, and then he whips out a gun and he fires some shots. So we're gonna add some muzzle flashes to this, and we're also gonna add some light flashes to his uh, body and to his arms and to his face. And let me show you guys how to do that. So first of all, we're gonna find the position where he fires the first shot. So let's just go through this. And you can use the page up and page down on your keyboard to just go frame by frame, backwards and forwards. And let's see around, that's where he fires the first shot. So on that frame, we're going to drag in our muzzle flash number one, and we're going to drag it on top of our footage. And then you'll see on the timeline that it will actually go to the beginning. So we need to just drag this to that area where the player is at. And then you'll see it will actually show the muzzle flash on the screen. And obviously this is the wrong side around. So let's take our rotation tool and just spin that around. And then we also need to scale it down. So let's take the selection tool and just click on one of these boxes on the side. And then just hold in shift to make sure that the aspect ratio stays the same. And then just let's just scale it down to around that size. Cool. And if we play that back, you'll see that we've got one muzzle flash. And then we just need to go to the second shot. So you'll see there's the second shot. And then we're going to bring in muzzle flash number two. Let's drag that on top. And then also just slide it over on the timeline. Like that. Okay, let's rotate this one around as well. So let's grab the rotation tool, spin it around. And then we're also going to grab the selection tool and just size that down, hold in shift again, and then just position it into place. So let's quickly play that back. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. And the next step is we are going to change the transfer mode for these two layers to add. So you can easily change the transfer mode of your layers under the mode column. And if you don't see these, just make sure to click this toggle switches or modes here at the bottom until you see the modes column. Then for both of these layers, let's change them to add. So just click on that and select add, click on the next one and select add. Okay, let's play that back quickly. And you'll see they will look a little bit better than the normal transfer mode. So let's just make sure that those ones are in the correct position like that. So next we're going to add some light flashes to um, his arms and to his body and also to his face. Because if you shoot a gun in a dark environment like that, it will actually reflect onto your body as well. So to do that, we're going to duplicate our footage layer. So click on that and hit Command D or Control D. And let's just rename this one to arm. And then we're going to mask out a section of his arm. So just take the pen tool right there at the top. And then we're just going to draw a quick mask around his arm, just very roughly, maybe something like that. And then we're going to add a curves adjustment to that layer. So go to effects, go to color correction, and then curves. And then we're just going to boost the uh, curves adjustment a little bit just to get a bit more exposure in that area. And then we're also going to change the feather amount. So go into the mask properties and let's just up the feather amount, uh, let's say to around, around 100 should be fine for that. Okay, let's have a look. So you'll see it's a little bit brighter in that area. And we're going to do the same for his face. So let's just duplicate the footage layer again. And let's call that face. And then we're going to do the same. We're going to take the pen tool and just draw a very rough mask around his face. Something like that. And what we can do now, we can actually go to the arm layer and we can copy this curves adjustment. So click on that, hit Command C or Control C on your keyboard, go to the face layer and paste that. And you'll see it will actually just paste that uh, effect. So next we're going to go into the mask properties. So press MM on your keyboard on the face layer and let's change that feather amount to around 100. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And let's add a little bit of light here on his body as well. So let's duplicate that layer once more and let's rename it to body. And we're going to do the same. We're going to take the pen tool and let's just draw a mask 
around this area okay something like that then we're going to go to the face layer copy that curves go back to the body layer and paste it okay we also need to adjust the feather on that one so press mm and let's adjust that feather amount to 100 okay that's looking all right another thing that we can do is just add a little bit of a flash here on the wall area so let's duplicate that layer once more and let's rename it to wall and then we're going to draw a mask here on the wall just something like that let's go to the body copy that curves and paste it on the wall layer and i'm just going to adjust this um, this curve here just to be a little bit less uh, than the other flashes and then we're going to go into the mask properties by pressing mm and let's feather that to 100. okay so that's looking pretty good so next what we want to do is we want to change that these four layers only show up when the muzzle flash is actually on screen so on the timeline let's go to the frame where it shows the first muzzle flash and with all these layers selected let's just trim that down so just click on the beginning of those clips and just drag them in and you can also hold in shift so it snaps to that play head. okay so now before that muzzle flashes won't show those light flashes and then when that muzzle flash goes on it will actually show those uh, affected areas so what we need to do is we need to switch these four layers off again when the muzzle flash goes off and then we also need to switch them back on so we can't really just cut these layers so we need to find a different way to do that so i'm going to be using the opacity parameter on these layers to to do that so with these four layers highlighted you can actually just press t on your keyboard and that will expose all these opacity controls and as you can see they're all set to 100 which is cool so what we're going to do is we're going to create a keyframe for these uh, opacity parameters and then we're going to change their values to animate them off and on so let's just click the stopwatch on all of them then let's go to the frame where this is supposed to be switched off so let's change these values to zero and you'll see that all the light flashes will be off and let's go a little bit further so just before we see the second muzzle flash if you go one frame backwards we're gonna set these values to zero again and then we just need to create another keyframe so click on these little triangles to create another keyframe there and then go one frame further where we see the second muzzle flash and then we're going to set these values up to 100. okay go one frame further where the muzzle flash is off again let's set this back to zero okay let's play through that Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Okay, next up we can add some color grading to uh, the shots. So let's just minimize all these opacity parameters. And then we're going to make use of an adjustment layer. So we're going to right click, go to new, go to adjustment layer. And let's rename this to color grading. On that adjustment layer, we're going to add an effect. So right click, go to effect, go to color correction, and let's go to curves. Okay, first of all let's add some contrast to this shot so let's just drag that down a little bit and let's just do something like that and then we're going to go to the red channel and let's just remove some red from uh, the shot so let's just drag the red down a little bit and let's give that some blue so just boost the blues a little bit and maybe we can even take some of the green out of the shot just slightly like that and last but not least let's add a vignette to the shot as well so i'm going to add another adjustment layer so let's select the eclipse tool here at the top and i'm going to double click on that and then i'm going to add a curves adjustment to that layer so let's go to color correction curves and let's just drag that down a bit and then we're going to invert that because we only want to affect the area outside of this mask so let's invert that and then we're going to go into that mask properties and let's change the mask feather amount to around 250. Cool, so there you go. Um, quite a realistic muzzle flash effect using After Effects. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And also be sure to check out some of our other awesome tutorials on the VideoFort YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.